I'm Jennifer Hambrick. I'm speaking with Dominique Vasseur, who is a curator at the Columbus Museum of Art. You are curating Monet to Matisse, celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Syrac Collection. Thanks for joining me here. Yeah. Hello. Good Hi. morning. <laughs> Good morning. Can you give us a sense of the significance of the Syrac Collection? I, really, the Syrac Collection is, is remarkable for a number of reasons. Um, the Columbus Museum of Art started out with a collection from Ferdinand Howald that was primarily American modernism, and that was in 1931. And then we received a Schumacher bequest in 1957. Those were all old masters. And really, we had very few French Impressionists, almost no German Expressionism. Um, and what the Syrac Collection did was to complement what we had so perfectly that it really brought our collection a fullness and, and a richness, a depth, that we would lack uh, were we not to have it. Many of the Syrac Collection's paintings are, as you say, Impressionist paintings, uh, and the Impressionists are famous for, uh, among other things, how they represented water in their work. Uh, can we see this in any of the Syrac Collection's paintings? Absolutely. The, the great thing about the Syrac Collection's is it, it, it encompasses five paintings by Claude Monet, and of those, um, they deal about water. And really, Monet was the great painter of water. Um, there's a painting of the Seine at Pourville, uh, or uh, uh, the Seine at um, uh, uh, Pourvillet, excuse me, a seascape at Pourville, which is on the English Channel, um, and also the great painting of the Weeping Willow, which includes a little glimpse of the water lily pond. So water uh, is definitely um, in the Syrac collection. There are many themes uh, that run through the visual art of the period represented uh, in the Syrac collection. One of those themes, uh, interestingly enough for us, is music itself. Uh, how is the theme of music represented in the Syrac collection's paintings? Well, certainly I think a lot of the artists loved music. Um, they were involved with music. In fact, um, the Renoir painting uh, of the, the portrait of um, Christine Leroll embroidering her father's wife was actually married to the composer Ernest Chausson, and Claude Debussy um, dedicated a number of, of his um, etudes to Christine's sister. So, you know, music and, and painting was very, very clink, uh, closely uh, linked at the time. But also we have a number of paintings in which there are references to music. For example, the Juan Gris painting actually has some music, uh, sheet music, in the painted into the composition. And a number of the Paul Clays have a very interesting background that almost look like music staff. So I think that, that artists at the time were very aware of, of the music that was being composed. The time period represented by many of the Syrac Collection's artworks uh, is also the same period of the era of ballet, sort of the golden age of ballet, uh, ballets like Giselle and Coppelia. Mm -hmm. um, we hear a lot of the music from those ballets actually here on Classical 101. How is the era of sort of this golden age of ballet represented in the paintings of the Syrac Collection? Well, the wonderful thing about French Impressionism is it, it, it comes about right at the time that Paris is becoming the world capital of culture and of the arts and of music and dance and such. And the Impressionists loved to go to the theater and the parks and music halls and such. And Degas, of course, of all of them, really was a figure painter. He loved the figure. And he was absolutely obsessed with the female form and all of its graceful attitudes in the ballet and also the very odd, awkward poses that the ballerinas would have to get into. And, um, you know, the, the great work, The Seated Dancer, in the Syrac Collection is just a fantastic example of a late Degas drawing. It shows him at his, at his best. He's a consummate draftsman. And so really that, that, that link between um, these artists sort of visually engaged with the culture of their time and with the dance is a perfect example of, of what you're talking about. The Syrac Collection also contains uh, a number of 20th century paintings mm. by artists whose work was branded degenerate ah, yes. uh, by one political regime or another. What did the degenerate art label really mean? And are there examples uh, of artists represented in the Syrac Collection whose work was branded degenerate? Oh, absolutely, certainly. Um, yes, unfortunately, um, the uh, the National, National Socialist Party, the, the Nazi Party in Germany, which came to power um, you know, in the, in the late 20s and 30s, um, unfortunately did not like anything that was not absolutely representational, socially real, um, uplifting. 
and they found most modern art, and that included paintings by Van Gogh. Um, they, they, they compared them with the work of mad people or children. They did anything they could to denigrate them. And so there was this, this huge exhibition which traveled around Germany entitled Entalte zu Kunst, Degenerate Art. And people like Kirchner and Nolde, who are represented in the Syrac collection, some of the most incredible, you know, expressionist works, um, great, great gems of the collection, they were certainly considered uh, degenerate art. European modernism, Impressionism, Cubism, Expressionism, it's all here in the Syrac collection. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, exhibition, Monet to Matisse, celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Syrac collection, opens Friday, September 23rd, and runs through when? Um, it runs through f um, May the uh, 5th. We can edit that. I think we can edit can, that. Can, we, I think it actually runs again? through April twenty second. Is that May thirteenth? Is May thirteenth? I'm sorry, but yeah, you know, could we could we redo that? Sure, sure. I'll just I'll ask the last right. question. Okay, great. I'll just ask the last question. Okay. Okay. So I just want to make sure we can just sit still for just a moment so All the right. video can. Okay. okay. Degenerate art. Uh, impressionism, Cubism, Expressionism, it's all here in the Syrac collection in uh, Monet to Matisse, celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Syrac collection. The exhibition opens Friday, September 23rd, and runs through when? Uh, it runs through May 13th, 2012, so you'll have ample opportunity to see it. We're, we're very proud to present it again. Wonderful. Dominique Vasser, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Jennifer.